Hi everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to haul all of the library books I've borrowed. In. And I've gone a little bit crazy because I keep loaning more books, but I don't return as many books as I borrow. So, you know, takes time. <laughs> but I have like 13 books or mangas that I want to haul today. Um, one of which I've already finished actually, and then one which is like a bind up where I've read two out of the three. So... Yeah, and two of the books are children's books for my daughter. So, it's not that bad, is it? I'm not counting the pile of books right over there. With books I have had for a few months and still haven't read. Um, hmm. They should limit how many books you can borrow. <laughs> they really should. Anyways, let's start. So, I have Dr. Stone Volume 2. I read the first volume a few months ago. Uh, I really enjoyed it. So, basically, the entire humanity turns into stone and then we have our two main characters that wake up and then they're trying to basically resurrect people to bring society back but it's been a couple of thousand years while well, being stone shit has changed a lot I have volume 8 9 and 10 of the promised neverland which is a manga i've been reading for quite some time now um i do own a couple of volumes you can't really because it's out of frame but i do own a couple of volumes of this one but they're kind of hard to come by um and they do have i think all of them on the library so i just figured i've borrowed three volumes that i've been waiting for because someone loaned learned this for a really long time and i just a few days ago happened to come by and they were returned so i figured i should buy them while i can which is why the amount of manga is so high <laughs> but basically in the first volume you meet a bunch of kids and they live at this sort of orphanage uh, but when you're 12 years old you get adopted I really want the really really smart kids um, but they do find out that the world is a lot more dark and sinister than they originally thought so shit changes shit goes awry I don't want to spoil anything but it's a really good series and then I came across a series that I just wanted to try. I don't know if I'm gonna like it because I do like my manga with a lot of action and stuff. So this might not be it, but I'm trying out different mangas to figure out which ones I want to read. Um, but this is Witch Hat Atelier Volume 1. And basically we meet a character called Coco and they have magic and witching is... Witches keep their magic secrets locked up very tight. We find out that magic is something you can actually learn. It's not something that you're necessarily born with. So you try to, you know, parse the power. And now we also have The Seven Deadly Sins. This is volume one. Uh, I haven't told you any of the other names. That's going great. Um, this is by Nakoba Suzuki Presan. So basically this is a manga that surrounds the whole, a holy war because the king's guard actually assassinated the king and the king's only daughter has to seek help from the dreaded warriors, the seven deadly sins and they, are, they were wrongly framed and sent into exile and they're now the princess's only hope to you know, take back the kingdom. The books for my daughter and this is Alla Kla de Po by Hanna Albrechtsson. Uh, we do have um, Hela Fina Yogwe, this author, which is a really good book. I've used it a lot of work as well. Um, but this is basically about a kid getting dressed and then suddenly the weather changes and they got undressed all in vain. Halo Bablana. And this is basically, yes, the different characters and their houses and stuff. Not a lot of text though, so it's mostly just discussing what you see in the pictures. I have a book that I had on my TBR for a while that I wanted to read and they have the entire trilogy so I'll definitely check it out um, but this is a Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness and I don't really know a lot about this one um, it's a trilogy uh, the world that this takes place in has witches, demons and vampires apparently there's a sort of manuscript that keeps the secrets of the past and the key to the future that's all I know and then we have Firefly Summer by Morgan Madsen. This is her latest book, I believe. Uh, this is a middle grade, which I don't think she's written before. But I really do like Morgan Madsen's books. I have read a couple of them. Um, 
So I think this is about our main character going to some sort of summer camp or something. Rihanna, our main character, gets this letter from her grandparents that she has... Um, her grandparents that she can't remember. Uh, because she was just a kid when her mother died. And her dad never really talks about that side of the family. Uh, but the grandparents actually invite her to spend the summer with them. And she finds out about the camp... Camp Van Camp. And that's basically where grandparents live, so I'm guessing she's going on some adventures there. So this seems really cute and cozy. And then we have The Atlas Six by Olive, Olivia Blake, which everybody and their mother have read by now, and I still have not. Um, so it basically says, Six Extraordinary Magicians, Five Chances to Win One Secret Society. Sounds really cool, actually. I really do want to read this one. And now we have the books that are either, either finished or started. So we have... One Piece by Shiro Oda. This is volume 7, 8, and 9. I have read 7 and 8. I am supposed to start volume 9. So, I mean, I read a big chunk of it. Like, this is all read. So, should be able to finish this one somewhat quickly so I can start returning some of these books. Um, but yeah, the first volume uh, of One Piece, we meet Monkey D. Luffy. He wants to become the King of Pirates. Problem is, he needs to find a crew to be able to, you know, sail a ship. So he stumbles upon a lot of different characters from different situations. Um, and also, Monkey D. Luffy ate the devil fruit and he is now a robber man. And therefore can no longer swim. But shit ensues. There's so many funny characters, a lot of kick-assness. Um, and there's so much action and I really love this manga so so much and I'm definitely in it for the long haul. The book I actually did finish just two days after getting it from the library. Um, but this is Laura Lempa's Brachial Smith Volume 1. This is the number one webtoon phenomenon. Um, so I think you can read all of these online, which I probably will do because the library only had this one. Which I was first in line for because they just purchased it um but basically this is a graphic novel it has a lot of pinks and blues and little splashes of color over there no. and the thing is i'm very particular about my manga and my graphic novels because i generally don't <laughs> usually end up liking a lot of them um I and mean, this one doesn't even have like a lot of text sometimes there's no text at all on the pages but um I just really liked it and this is not a wrap-up so I don't know why I'm talking about this but um, I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to continue on with it and this is has been inspired from Greek mythology so we get to follow different gods and their children I suppose and you know shit happens. But yeah those were all of the new library books that I've gotten. I do have a bunch of others that I've already hauled months ago so i need to make a dent in these books because i cannot keep borrowing more books than i finish but i mean some of them are children's books some of them are manga so i might get through half of the pile somewhat quickly um <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will definitely be making more of these because i'm addicted to the library at this point i told my fiance just take my library card i can't <laughs> keep up with this anymore Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope we see each other in the next one. Have a good day or evening and bye!